Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check combo kit from ICM. It is modded in 135 scale and as you can see it copies TIP 320 W142 saloon with German staff personnel and you can see it on the box art so there should be as far as I can guess four figures and German car Mercedes to be precise and now we have a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review so first of all box size is typical for this brand here you can see comparison with my hand we have quite nice box art here on the side there is some information about the kit so there are 100 49 parts for the vehicle assembly and also 29 parts for the figurines and then from the opposite side we can see the marking option it's the same black vehicle as we see on the box art here so let's open it it's a standard box design as on other ICM kits so here you can see it's a color printed top lid and then we have sturdy white cardboard box which should actually protect everything inside and I mean it actually ensures that everything will arrive to you in one piece. So here on the top we have assembly manual, then we have plastic sprues packed into several plastic bags. Obviously this is a figure set and then there is a you know, car kit. So we will start one by one. First figure parts which are packed into the separate plastic bag. I'm going to open it and show it to you on the frame. So this is a 135 scale figures as you can see overall design is typical for ICM kits and such um, general let's say so let's zoom in now you should be able to see what we actually get here so overall parts division means uh, the separate wax hands torso and one piece head as you can see some of the hats are molded together with hats so you have to be careful and of course on the opposite side we do not have any guiding elements so you will have to attach everything with your own hands I mean there is nothing to help you um, to get the right alignment next we go on with another plastic bag here it is so just go in to open it in the meantime, let me remind you that you can support us financially. It is quite easy to do because we have special donate button on our website and of course you decide how much we will get for new photo and video equipment. So here we have first gray plastic sprue for the vehicle and as you can see it is filled with mix of various parts for example here we have wheel rims also we have the main chassis bars we even have the steering wheel parts here our engine is here again main chassis parts some minor elements for the steering and the suspension let's zoom in now you should be able to see it closer so overall molding quality seems to be fine even though this is a not such a fresh kit I would say but still even the thinnest parts look good so it's just a matter of careful separation and then you will be good to go and if you flip it over here for example on the engine parts you can see that we have guiding pins which will help you with proper alignment of these two house together okay next we have now the plastic bag this one is obviously used in order to preserve the clear sprue intact so just give me a second to open it okay so what do we have here this is a clear frame with all glasses for the vehicle as you can see molding quality looks really great but there are no masks included so you will have to do everything with your own hands and knife and I'm not sure if there are any aftermarket available at all so be ready to work with this because otherwise you won't be able to you know, get the proper paint work let's say on your vehicle here we have another plastic bag with vinyl tires so yes this vehicle has vinyl tires and there is no way to come around this unless you find some resin replacement but again I'm not sure if there are any aftermarket available for this kit but these are typical vinyl parts or tires as you can see there is nothing on the walls but we have more or less nice pattern here and I think if you are going to cover it with dust and dirt then it's not such a crucial thing in this kit so I think some I mean the biggest share or most modellers will be fine with such addition to the kit
And then we have last grey plastic sprue, so this one is dedicated to big parts. Here we have, for example, the side panels for the car body. We have internal door cards, front wall. Here we have the floor panel, which is mowed together with view arches, the rear section. And all sections, I mean, all doors and hatches, they're molded separately. Uh, not separately, they're molded in, they're not molded separately, so you won't be able to open them. And that might be not such a great feature with figures, because, I mean, you can't even open the door on the vehicle, so it might look a bit weird. But still, internal detailing looks fine, so if you are okay with such stuff, I mean, not able to open the doors, then it should be fine kit for your project. Next we have two assembly manuals, but first there should be decals sheet, so just give me a second. Here is the decal sheet, let's zoom in, now you should be able to see it. So this is a standard printing quality for this manufacturer, no unpleasant surprises and I think it will be easy to apply all these symbols on the vehicle, so there is nothing to complain about. Let's zoom out again. Next we have first assembly manual, this one is dedicated to figures, so as you can see here manufacturer printed parts map and paint chart and then we flip it over, here we have black and white guide on how to assemble these figures together, so there is one lady in this set and four figures in total, okay. And next we have another assembly manual, this one is dedicated to the vehicle, so as you can see it is printed in form of thick brochure, here we have short history note, and then we go on with parts map, surprisingly all parts will be used, assembly process starts with engine and main chassis, then we continue by installing various panels, so main chassis getting assembled together with wheel axles, then you install wheels, but obviously nobody will do it, they will be installing wheels on the last stages of the assembly. Next we continue fuel tank, engine, radiator grill, bumper, here we have exhaust, and then we install one piece floor panel, as you remember it was as a one piece part. Here we install various control elements, pedals and gearbox lever, also the handbrake lever, here we assemble the frontal wall, so here you can see the sunshades and also this uh, windscreen, also dashboard and then all this stuff gets installed on the vehicle. Next we work with seats and here you assemble the steering wheel, as you remember all these parts were molded separately so you'll have to carefully glue them together. Next we continue with passenger seat on the front row, actually on the second row. Here we install the glasses and the door cards on the side walls of the vehicle, various handles get into place. The same applies to the opposite side and then you join all this stuff together and note that manufacturer proposes to assemble these body panels together without the chassis, which is quite unusual in my opinion. Here we install all this stuff on the vehicle, then we continue with radiator grill and this special X thing which is actually used in order to give some strength to the Sub assembly, then we install the bonnet panels, and as you can see, bonnet can't be opened, so you won't be able to display what is inside unless you modify original plastic parts. Here we work on the roof, so roof can be built either in open or closed position, and that's really good because at least this feature might be handy in order to display what is um, placed inside. Next, we continue with rear bumper here and also headlamps, and Final step, again you get a choice between the fog light and in total there are 60 steps to do. So next we have two marking options, these are various shades of grey let's say, here we have German vehicle in 1941, another German vehicle in France 1942 and here we have two more, black one comes from Norway 1942 and another one from Italy 1943. So definitely you'll find something suitable for your build or you can just try to search for some alternative markings in case you have some reference photos or reference material available, then definitely try to 
build something different from what is offered in the assembly manual. So this kit should be already available. You can get it on official ModelMX website and I really recommend it to these modelers who would like to get everything in one box because here you get figures and vehicle in one box. You don't have to buy anything else. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!